Good morning, and welcome to our monthly memorial service, Shotsuki Hoyo. I am Jeannie Toshima and will be chairing today's service. On the first Sunday of each month, we conduct a monthly memorial service in honor of those members of our Buddhist community that have passed away during the respective month in which the service is being held. Sensei will now read the names of those who have passed away in whose memory we are dedicating this morning service to. Good morning. Again, this is our February Shotsuki Hoyo service, our service honoring those who were members of the temple or friends of the temple who passed in the month of February. If you lost someone in February and their name is not on the list, please let me know. We'd be happy to add their name and read it every uh, February of every year. Uh, there is no charge for this. So again, I will, if I may, read the names of those we have lost to our knowledge in the month of February. Akita Terumitsu, Arnold Jan Elizabeth, Doi Momie, Fujikawa Kichinojo, Fujikawa Senkichi, Fujitaki Tane, Fujimoto Nami, Furumoto Masaru, Goto Dorothy. Goto Chiyoko, Hanamoto Moto, Halabe Mikio, Halabe Kinue, Hino Hito, Hilata Sen, Ishikawa Toshio, Ito Mary, Ito Yuki, Kajikawa Niichi, Kajikawa Uta, Kamon Mieko, Kawahara Kazuo, Kawamoto Kumajiro, Kawashima Michika, Kawashima Mitsuyori, Kitaguchi Tamako, Kobayashi Tama, Kurata Henry, Masumoto Katsuno, Matsubara Toshie, Matsui Kimito, Matsuoka Rinichi, Mito Masai, Miyashita Sasuke, Morino, Morino, excuse me, Morino Shizue, Morishita Tsuta, Nagano Shizue, Naito, Keitsuchi, Nakamoto Tsutomu, Nishi Takeshi, Nishimoto Jisoichi, Nishimura Satsu, Nishimura Shizue, Ogura Shuichi, Okazaki Ki, Otaki Hide, Okuno Kiono, Okuno Nisaku, Omura Hifumi, Omura Yasomatsu, Oyama Toshiaki, Saeda Kame, Sakahara Tora, Sakamoto Chino, Sakamoto George Masaru, Shimizu Rui, Shirozu Natsuko, Soga Yukio, Sogi Kono, Sugimoto Ruri, Sunairi Kame, Sunairi Shigeru, Take no Uchi Kichi, Take no Uchi Seichi, Tamanaha Roy Koichi, Tashima Hisao, excuse me, Hisayo, Tashima Hisayo, Tomotani Hideji, Tsuchiya Satsu, Tsukida Kuninori, Tsukida Sakuhe, Umeta 
Kanichi, Umeta, Kiyoshi, Watanabe, Sara, Yamane, Me, Yamasaki, Takashi, Yamashita, Kihe, Yamashita, Kisohe, Yamashita, Kodo, Yamashita, Minae, Yujidi, Yaokichi. Namo Amirabutsu, Namo Amirabutsu, Namo Amirabutsu, Namo Amirabutsu, Namo Amirabutsu, Namo Amirabutsu. These are the names of those loved ones who have passed in the month of February to our knowledge. Again, if you lost someone in the month of February and would like us to read their name at a service every February, uh, please give me a call, drop me a line, we will do so. I am very sorry for your losses. Thank you. Please join us uh, for the chanting of the San Butsu Ge. Namo Mita Butsu, Namanda Butsu, 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 Namo Mita Butsu, Namanda Butsu. Busatsu Daimuryo Jukyo Sanbutsuge Kogen Gigi Kijin Mugoku Yode and Mio Muyo Tosha Nichigat Mani Shuko Enyo Kaishit Nonpe Yunyaku Jumoku Yorai Yogen Chose Murin, Shogaku Dion, Koru Jipo, Kaimon Shojin, Samai Chie, Itoku Murio, Shusho Keu, Jintai Zenen, Shobutun Hokai, Gujin Jinno, Kugo Gaitai, Mumio Yokunu, Seison Yomu, Nino shi shi jin toku muryo kukun kodai chie jin myo ho myo iso shindo dai sen ganga ta butun tai sho ho o kado shoji mi hu ge datun fute joi tai nin shojin Yo de samai chie ijo, go te toku button fugio shigan, isai kuku, isa dion, keshi u button yakusen nokuman, murio daisho, shunyong odia, kuyo isai, shito sho button funyo gudo, Kensho Hungyaku, Inyo Godya, Shobutun Sekai, Buhu Kage, Mushu Sakundo, Komyo Shisho, Enshi Shokoku Nyode Shojin, Ijin Nanryo, Ryoga Tabutun Kokudo Daiichi, Goshu Kimyo, Dojo Chozetun, Kokunyo nayon, Nimu toto, Gato aimin dodatun yesai, Jipo laisho, Shinnetun shojo, Ito ga koku keraku anon, Kobutun shinmyo, Zega shinsho, Otsugan no hi, Riki sho sho yoku, Jipo teson, Chie muge, Choryo Shison, Shiga Shingyo, Keryo Shinshi, Shoku Dokuchu, Gagyo Shojin, Ninju Huke. Namandabu, Namandabu, Namandabu. 
ナマンナーブナマンナーブナマンナーブガニュー食毒平等性一切どうもない真のおじょうあらこくナムナブルマンナナムナブナムナブナムナブルマンナナムアミラブツナムナブツナムアミラブツ Namon Rabbits, Namon Rabbits. How rare, here are the three treasures. How rare and wondrous is it to have been born into human life and now I live it. How rare and wondrous it is to be able to listen to the Buddha Dharma and now I am able to hear it. If I do not transcend the world of delusion in this life, when will I ever attain spiritual? Liberation. May I, among, along with the entire Sangha, with sincere heart and mind, rely, rely on that which can be truly relied upon in life, the three treasures. I rely on the Buddha. May I, along with all sentient beings, awaken to the great path with my entire being and discover the highest aspiration, which is to become a Buddha. I rely on the Dharma. May I, along with all sentient beings, deeply reflect on the meaning of the sutras and gain wisdom that is as deep and vast as the ocean. I rely on the Sangha. May I, along with all sentient beings, become one Sangha of life, able to move forward and live with a dynamic spirit that is hindered by nothing. The unsurpassed, deep, and wondrous Dharma, even in millions of kalpas, is extremely difficult to encounter. But now I am able to experience and embrace it. May I come to understand and revere the true meaning of the Tathagatha. Okay. So I always Namo Mitabutsu, Namo Nabutsu, Namo Mitabutsu, Namo Nabutsu, Namo Mitabutsu, Namo Nabutsu, 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 Since I'm not sure when you will be viewing this talk, I will address one of the half dozen topics that are especially interesting to me, and that will be this morning how living our lives is a matter of telling a story, that in living our lives, we write a story. By telling interesting, positive, helpful stories, <laughs>、uh, we will live good lives, lives that will be appreciated by ourselves and others. By telling interesting, positive, hopeful stories, and by making our family and friends valued characters in the stories that we tell, we support one another. We cannot make it without one another's support. Thank you all for supporting my family and I here at the Pasadena Buddhist Temple. Thank you for supporting one another. We humans must live in societies, in communities. And we discover who we are interacting with one another. Our lives are stories that we tell one another. Stories that I tell you, stories that you tell me. We are each writers telling the stories of our lives, creating whom we are by telling a story. My connections with you affect how my story progresses. Your interactions with me affect how your stories progress, what sort of story you tell, partly determined by interacting with me and your other friends and associates. 
I need as much help as I can get to tell a good story. Fortunately, I have all of you to contribute subplots. And you have me to complicate the story of your life with unexpected input. In the last year and a half, I've lost some of my friends who were helping me to write my story. We all lost some friends too, or at least during the COVID epidemic. Again, if do use your masks outside. Alan's about 40 feet away from me, otherwise I would be masked. <clears throat> some of our friends who passed on last year were great writers. They wrote stories of their lives beautifully. The stories they told were intriguing, were filled with beauty, joy, humor, sharing. Some of my friends who passed on in the last year and a half told those kind of stories. Not all of us are great writers, but all of us must compose the stories of our lives. Most of us, looking at the stories of our lives we are writing, well, they may not compare well to Shakespeare. Some of us are, are some of us as good as Marcel Proust? How many of us have read Marcel Proust? Not me. Perhaps Alexander Dumas would be a fair example because we've read him, you know, Count of Monte Cristo. But uh, the Count of Monte Cristo is a much more exciting story than my life story. I can't write one that exciting. Well, how about then uh, Victor Hugo, Les Miserables? We all know that one. Are you writing a story that's, that's that good? Perhaps that committed to justice? Les Miserables, Victor Hugo's Les Miserables, The Miserable. Now, the uh, highly regarded French author Gustave Flaubert uh, said that all of Victor Hugo's characters were stereotypes. Jean Valjean, a stereotype. Boy, I wouldn't mind being a stereotype like that, I tell you. <laughs> the character I'm creating and living my life, is my character stereotypical? Flaubert might think so. Flaubert thought Jean Valjean was a stereotype. Was Mr. Rogers, Fred Rogers, sort of stereotypical? A stereotypical nice guy? Perhaps. We only have so long to tell our stories. We usually aren't too sure how long we have. But it's never as long as we might wish. Some of our friends, who we had to separate from this last year and a half or so, they had relatively long stories to tell. Several of my friends who passed away last, last year and a half lived past their 80th year. I'm 72, so 80 doesn't sound that old to me, but uh, in the long run, 80 plus years is a good, good life. It is a longish story when you live that long, when you have that long. It can be quite a challenge to write the story of our lives. None of us starts with a blank page, no tabula rasa. We have influences. Some of the influences bearing upon us are empowering, and other influences are constricting. Many of us were bullied in childhood. Probably most of us were bullied somewhat in childhood. Those memories inhibit us. They inhibit our growth in some ways. Most of us were loved by our mothers, by our parents, by our family when we were young. And remembering that love and nurturance is a story that we tell ourselves. It's a good story. It's a story that helps us to live our lives more effectively, more happily more beautifully. Now religions tell stories, as you know, some stories, some religions tell stories that are symbolic, but maybe not literally true. <laughs> religions sometimes tell stories that are only expected to be accepted by a few, you know. Now, the Judeo-Christian and Islamic traditions tell the story of Abraham asked, being asked by their God to sacrifice his son Isaac. I don't like that story at all. I never did. It doesn't inspire me in the least. Um, now, another story. Only some Catholics and Orthodox Christians believe the story of the Assumption of Mary to Heaven. That, huh, 
That theory was first voiced in 1950. So this is a rather recent Christian idea. But Catholic and many Orthodox Christians believe that, that Mary was so beloved, she just went to heaven like this, didn't have to die, wasn't, didn't have to go through the process of dying. Nobody believes that except Catholics and a few Orthodox Christians. Some, some religions have these insider stories that really are for insiders. Religions sometimes tell stories that are clearly not meant literally, but are suggestive of what might be deep truths. The larger Sutra on Amida Buddha has a section where a question is raised, would it be possible to empty a lake with a spoon? And the answer is yes, you could empty a lake with a spoon if, if you pass that spoon on to your son, and he passes it to his son, generation after generation. Could you really do that, empty a lake with a spoon? Probably not, literally, but the point here is that tasks that would be impossible for me to accomplish in one lifetime alone can be accomplished by all of us together over much, many generations. Our stream of Mahayana tradition is one of the many dozens of schools of Buddhism that tell the story of Dhammakara becoming Amida Buddha. Dhammakara, who renounced his throne, gave away being a king and all the riches associated therewith. He became a monk, studying with Lokasvararaja Buddha, studying the Buddha Dharma. Dhammakara vowed, promised to generate a realm of influence, a field of growth, a pure land of thoroughgoing enlightenment. True and thoroughgoing enlightenment. Enlightenment which is open to all of us. In its depths, the promise is extended to all suffering and deluded beings. This story is told in many sutras, in many schools of Buddhism. Amida Buddha and their promises, the transformative realm of influence that they create, fulfilling those promises. This story is told in many a sutra. Amida Buddha's fulfilling their vows and realizing their promises is remembered, among other places, on the peace bell in the peace park in Hiroshima. And the section from the larger sutra uh, that is uh, on the peace bell in Hiroshima, both, uh, you know, I've forgotten now if it's in English translation, it's in Sanskrit and Japanese, and I think also in English. And uh, the English translation, this is Max Mueller's translation of the Sanskrit, but this saying about Amida Buddha that's written on the peace bell in Hiroshima Peace Park is, <clears throat> the Lord of vast light, incomparable and infinite, has illumined all Buddha countries in all the quarters. He has quieted all passions. He has quieted all sins and errors. He has quieted, he has quieted the fire of the walk through hell. Amida Buddha has quieted the fire in the walk through hell. It's a lot to accomplish. The people of Hiroshima, having endured the dropping of an atomic bomb, told that story about Amida Buddha, that Amida Buddha has quieted the fire in the walk through hell. The story of Amida Buddha quieting our suffering, quieting all of our bad choices, can influence the stories that we tell of our lives. The story of Amida Buddha inviting all of us to the realm of light, extending an irrevocable invitation to enlightenment, can help us to move forward with our stories. Shinran Shonin, our denominational founder, emphasized two aspects of that story about Amida Buddha. Shinran reflected for many years on the story about the Makara developing an aspiration for enlightenment, the Makara renouncing his throne and all the wealth and, and pleasure that goes with that, the Makara studying with Lokasrara Raja Buddha, Dharmakara awakening to Buddhahood, excuse me, first awakening to Bodhisattva status and making the vows to liberate all. The Makara awoke to the status of a Bodhisattva and made the promises to liberate all. The Makara, the Makara Bodhisattva attained complete and thoroughgoing enlightenment. The story of Dharmakara, Dharmakara, Become, having become Amida Buddha, extending the realm of the nirvana to include us. This story Shinran reflected on throughout his life. 
And he felt that the, the, of the many aspects of this story, which are important, that we must emphasize two aspects, what he called the origin and the fulfillment of this story. The origin of the Dhammakara Amida Buddha story is the need in the human heart for clarity, goodness, love. That need in the human heart, we trust, reflects a need in all sentient beings. The need in the human heart is very similar to the need in the heart of the stray cats, the feral cats who come into our uh, yard here. The, the, the need in the human heart for love, goodness, clarity, soothing, is very similar to the need in the squirrels in the trees and the birds in the trees. This human need reflects a basic need in all living beings. That is the origin of the vow. This need, this need for soothing, this need for clarity, this need to be good, this need to do good. The fulfillment of the story of the vows of Amida Buddha will be nirvana. The fulfillment is the utter clarity, joy, and goodness of nirvana. The fulfillment of this story is nirvana, enlightenment, and the endless adventure of sharing that enlightenment with others. The fulfillment of this story, the Amida Buddha story, is also the presence of the sacred in the Buddha's name, in Namo Amidabutsu. So, in conclusion, may I suggest that recalling the origin and fulfillment, caring for others, and needing caring oneself as the origin, awakening to the deep healing truth of enlightenment in the Buddha's pure realm, pure nirvanic realm, is the fulfillment. May I suggest that recalling the origin and fulfillment of Amida Buddha's story can help our story be a better story. May I suggest that thinking about the story of Dhammakara becoming the liberating Buddha Amida can help us to tell better stories in the living of our lives. Participating in the Nembutsu tradition helps me to tell the story of my life more effectively. With that in mind, may I ask each of you to join me in Gasho and in the saying of the Nembutsu. We rely upon the source of limitless wisdom and endless life, Namo Amida Butsu, 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 Namo Amida Butsu. Thank you. Thank you for attending today's service. I'd like to close this service with the loving kindness metta meditation. May all beings be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. May I be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to me. May I live in peace and harmony. May my family be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. May my teachers be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. May my friends be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. May strangers be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. May my enemies be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. May all beings be happy and well. May no harm or difficulties come to them. May they live in peace and harmony. Namo Amidabhats. Namo Amidabhats. Namo Amidabhats. Mm -hmm.